Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the stuff I do in my daytime job uh, as a property photographer. And here we've got a shot of a room which I took some photos of. And what I thought I'd do is I'd break down all the different things which I look for whenever I'm doing a photo inside somebody's house. So here is one of the rooms which uh, they wanted to display in their, um, on their website. Um, and here's what the camera was kind of doing pretty much straight out of the camera. Okay, and in this shot, what you'll see is that I'm pointing over at this chair here. Because one of the first things I had to do is slightly clean up the room. Here you can see uh, there's just been kind of duvets and pillows that have been left at the side. So we want to clean up the room and make sure that's a little bit tidy. So let's get rid of those. And then the next picture, what I'm doing is I'm pointing at the window. The window is where the brightest light is and that's what we're trying to, we want to kind of balance the exposure so we can see at least see a little bit of outside and uh, still see the inside. So if we go in here and we look at the EXIF data, we see that that is an F8 value out there. So to get that in that kind of exposure, that's an F8 at 250th of a second. 250 of a second we're using because that is the closest thing uh, to the flash sync speed. So then, if we go back into the room, and if we go back to this bit here, we're exposing for this kind of area, this darker area, and that gives us an exposure reading of f2.8. So that's pretty much as low as the aperture that is able to go down to there. It's probably we really wanted it to be around about 1.8, but then you've got no depth of field or very, very shallow depth of field. So because that last picture is an f2.8 and the exposure for the window is around about an f8, that is a big difference. That is as a three stop difference. So what the best thing is to do is to go kind of halfway in between f5.6 and get a shot of that. And here it is we're using the flash on the camera and it's given us a fairly good exposure. It's a little bit down to the left, which means it's a little bit on the dark side. If you go and look closely up at the, you can see there's some bits that are still blown out. That's definitely the window, but it's a lot better than what it was before. So that's how much was blown out before. So just a little bit is blown out now, but everything, nothing seems to be totally black. So that's quite good. And what I'm doing with the flash here is I'm just bouncing it straight off the roof. So that means I don't have any kind of shadows coming behind the lights or anything. But it's still not that great. And that's because in this picture here, I'm actually, the way I'm metering the image is actually with the pattern, the 3D kind of pattern thing, instead of a spot metering. So if we go over here to the exit data, you can see it says pattern. So that means it's effectively taking in the whole exposure for that whole image. And that's obviously taken in the window. So that's making it a little bit darker. So then what I did after that is on my camera, if you can see that, that little button there, which can give you either spot, center weighted, or pattern metering, I put it onto spot metering. And I pointed it towards where the chair is over here. So I pointed it over to that. So what that's saying to the camera now is that, wow, you need to brighten this place up until that chair is bright enough. And what I do is I hold down the exposure lock, move the camera into the position that I want it to be in, and then I take a photo again. And automatically the camera will boost up the flash power by quite a bit. And as you can see, the next image here. Uh, you'll see that the if we go again, zoom in close into the histogram, the blown out bits are exactly the same size, no difference in height there. But overall, the kind of main colours, the red, is a good bit more to the right. So the whole place is that a little bit brighter. So that there I'm thinking, okay, that's, that's better. And you can see there's a lot more texture in the chair down here as well, compared to before, just totally black. And now it's uh, you can see the pattern, uh, you can see the crinkles inside that old leather. But I'm still not that happy with the image. So the next one, here, what I did is I turned on the lights. So you can see over here, turn that light on and that light on as well. Because we're still shooting at f5, you really don't get much brightness from these lights at all. It really is just to give you the idea of warmth coming into the picture. 
But I wasn't quite happy with that because they've got all these kind of wires coming out of the, the lights. So you just got to quickly tidy up the room a little bit more, stick the cables behind there, and as you can see over here as well, whoop, over here as well, from before, you can see it's just hanging down, then there, it's a little bit tidier. But I think, although that is a fairly good exposure, I still want it to be a little bit brighter. So on the actual camera, I did an exposure compensation uh, where I put it up by one EV. Now, whenever I do that, that increases, because I've got it in manual setting, what that will actually only increase is the flash power because the aperture staying the same, the ISO is staying the same, and the shutter speed is staying the same because I have it in manual. But if I put an exposure compensation up one, then it will boost the flash power. So as you can see over here, on the exposure meeting, uh, on the EXIF data, it says uh, metering is spot, but exposure bias, this bit here, is saying zero. If I go to the next picture, so we've got it at plus one. Nothing else has changed whatsoever. Same distance, same uh, things per second, everything's absolutely fine. But you'll notice the picture is much brighter. So from there, fine, to there, even brighter. So that was the final image. Or oh, wait, I did one more. Did I do one more? Yeah, just slightly tried to make it a little, make it a little bit straighter. Um, and that was the final image that I did. So as you can see, the whole room is nicely exposed. It's slightly bright and it's metered for this kind of darker area of the chair. But yet you can still see outside and out the window and all the kind of details out there. The lights inside the place give the place a nice kind of warm feeling to it. And uh, from the angle, you get an idea of how big an area this, this room is. So going back to the very original picture, which was this one, you can see is a fairly decent increase. Going from just like auto to then doing some flash, some exposure compensation, and some spot metering in the darker areas. Okay, so that, that's the first one which I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll do another video of another one, uh, just if you're more interested. Um, in the next video that will come up soon. Okay, cheers, bye.